That's what that was making fun of, right? What? Was that supposed to be how me and Gavin always argue over stupid stuff? No, Bill, Bill and Clyde sort of. Oh, it's, that was so sounding like that. Like, he's already swinging I stuff. Didn't come from guys. Like, that, like, I don't know. It really did. Was who was more aggressive? Yeah. And who were the two people, Clyde and? You want me to repeat? No, I I know I already know the answer. What what was the was it Clyde and who? Bill. A was Bill. B was Clyde. C was both of them are equally. D was they were neither aggressive. It's B Clyde. Is that your final answer? C Senorita. Why are you eating a pencil? <laughs> All right, hammer. Yeah. What did Clyde use? 
used to fight his brother. A. Clyde had fire powers. B. He only used his fists. C. He used AK-47 and grenades. Or D. He used water powers. C. He used AK-47s with grenades. Is that your final answer? Yep. That is right. You go, Cameron. Yeah. Okay, we all got it right. We're all tied. We all have two points. A dad named Dick Harbinger and his young, sexy, perfect booty daughter named Tracy Harbinger were not as close as they once were. Even though they loved each other, each other, they drifted apart over the years. So, to make up for the lost time, they went on a camping trip together out in the woods. They left their home and went to the woods in the middle of nowhere with lots of scary things there. Scary things there because that is just a smart idea. They spent the day fishing and everything was great. Things got better when a man named Billy came across their campsite and offered to drop kick them in the trachea. They politely declined and Billy was so de devastated that he burst into tears and ran away. He was so sad he ran into a lake by accident. He ran into a he was so sad he ran into a lake got by accident, drowning himself. So, Dick and Tracy went on with their day. After having some food and father-daughter time, they went to bed. The daughter woke up in the middle of the night to find that her father had disappeared. Then she heard noises outside the tent. She grabbed a flashlight but left any sort of weapon behind because once again, that's just the smartest thing to do, right? Well, out of nowhere, <coughs> out of nowhere, this creature popped out of the woods. <laughs> God. came running out of the woods. She hurried back into the tent, which the cre which the creature gaily gaily tore apart. Her dad came back with a chainsaw and tried to cut the creature up, but he was too scared and jumped into the tore apart tent with his daughter while screaming like a bitch. Well, the dad and daughter ran away to get to the car, and they reached it and got in with the creature still chasing them. He tried to start the car, but didn't realize he'd forgotten the keys. The creature ran over and picked up the car and threw it into the river, killing them both. To celebrate, the creature sat down, ate their food while listening to the daughter's iPod. Unfortunately for the creature, there was a lot of Justin Bieber on there, which made the creature's head explode, killing him. The end. What? <laughs> that is the worst story I've ever heard. Okay, first question is for Mason. What did Billy offer Dick and Tracy? Multiple choice. Hold on. Okay, wait. All right. What did Billy offer? Man kisses to the tracheas, drop kicks to tracheas, punches to tracheas, bitch slaps to tracheas. Well, that one's easy. D. D. Bitch slaps the tracheas? <laughs> that just sounds funny to say. I don't know. I want to be. I want to. I want to do C or D. Okay, C is punches to tracheas. D. Can I, can I call a friend? Can no, I call you a friend? can't. No, you can't. <laughs> What's that from? Probably taxi. Uh, Lots it of you. Alright, what's your final? What's your final answer? D. D. Bitch slaps to tracheas. Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. Yes. You are wrong. It was B. Drop kicks to tracheas. Drop kick. What? Drop kick. I knew it the whole time. Anything. Really, anything. Really. Anything, Mason? Anything? Are you willing to test that? I mean, yeah, basically. Basically. I'm not going to go kill Grandma, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Alright. Do you have any 
Yeah, you have to cut out a lock of your hair, and you have to you have to glue it or tape it to the middle of your forehead. No, no, it's not. No, the, no, no, no. This ain't truth or dare. I don't want nothing to be too extreme. I don't blame him. That's his hair. It's like a few little strands. You know, nothing like not like a big giant. Oh, not like, not like, oh, like I do that. Like you have to cut out enough to where you can see the angle on your chin. Oh yeah, like just, long hair. that's not much. So, number two, what was the father and daughter's last name? A. Barflinger. B. Hardinger. C. Harbinger. D. Dick Tickler. <laughs> what? I already know it. What was their last name? Harbinger. Har what? Harbinger. Binger. C. C. Harbinger. C. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Oh really? I thought it was Hardinger. I'm glad I didn't get that one. Oh, I should ask you. I. All right, that's three for Cameron. Okay, three. What was the daughter's name, Eli? This is for Eli. What was the daughter's name? Oh, I know it already. A. Stacy. C. Lacey. A. Tracy. D. Macy. Stacy. Booyah. Stacy? Oh, I didn't actually see it. My bad. I looked at it. Yeah, Stacy. Final answer is Stacy. Oh, he doesn't have, even have the answer, but yeah, Stacy. <laughs> That's right. It's Tracy. Are you serious? Yeah. I think that's what. Are you lying? Wait, let me look, look at the story. You got to the very top. Tracy. Dang it! <laughs> that's <not> Stacy. <laughs> Dude, your, your finger's on the mic. So, Mason, Cameron wins basically now. I win! Yeah. Uh oh, here's Mason. Uh oh. Is that that is not your hair. Yeah, it is. That's so much space though. Dude, your hands on the mic. Mic's cover. Dude, you cut off so, so much. much more than I thought you were gonna cut. He didn't mean that much. Yeah. It's not that much. That's well, a lot. Yeah, you had to put it on your mom's clothes. There. I don't want to do anything that takes too long or anything. I just want mine to be quicker. This doesn't even involve you, Gavin. It's Eli. I know, but I mean any of us. Here in bed, though. <laughs> I don't want to do anything that takes too long. By that, I mean anybody. <laughs> but either way, uh, they're in bed, so you can't. Your middle name should just be lazy, like Gavin, lazy, cool. You probably should. <laughs> uh, I don't want to take too long. It's not even about you. <laughs> Well, this ain't truth or dare. This is just quick things to a story. That's why. Like, you know, you have to get in your underwear and hump that little thing on your wall. That little, uh, like, pole, sort of. The beam? Yeah, that. Yeah, that right there. You have to give Gavin a lap dance. Oh, uh, no, that's gay. Do this. Yeah, like, Gavin would do that. That's gay. I shit myself because Gavin let that happen. I wouldn't Dude, do just that. just get in your underwear and hump that beam thing. That'll be like a really funny thing, like really quick little video in the in, our, in the video. Just like make it just, real like, really quick. quick. Like just in the middle of the video, like.